Hi guys, welcome to my video. Um, it's going to be a video today based on the breeding of guppies. Um, a lot of people are still unsure even though that guppies are one of the most easiest fish to breed. Um, so I'm going to explain how to breed them, what and what I've got in my tank which helps aid the breeding in terms of breeding quicker um, and how I get so many fry to be fair. But as you can see this here is just a plain 55 litre tank um, which to be fair I haven't even filled up to the top. It's got a mixed colour substrate but to be fair the substrate's just in there. You don't need substrate in a breeding tank but it is best if you do. Just to make it more aesthetically pleasing and it's good for the fish. Um, on top of that as you can see I have a live plant. If you want to breed guppies, this this here is one of the best suggestions I'll give you. Um, because this is just amazing. A lot of people haven't heard of this plant, even though it's quite common. In the UK, where I'm from, it's hard to find. You can't get it in pet stores. You like you would have to go on to see it on that, under the internet, such as um, Spock and Gumtree to get it. It's called Najas grass. Um, but a lot of people just refer it to guppy grass. But the beauty of this grass is that not only does it oxygenate the water, it, it provides a perfect hiding place for any fry. Um, but as you can see at the minute, it's still quite small in terms of size. But when I got this, I got five little pieces like this. And then six, then six weeks later, it's like this. And but to be fair, I've got another tank downstairs which is full of it. It grows like wildfire, but perfect for breeding. Um, the other, other than the grass and the substrate, I'm using just a standard 50 watt heater, which you can see there at the back. Um, but I, I currently have the water at 32 degree, half 30 degrees Celsius. Sorry. Because of 30 degrees Celsius with the heated water, it's like a permanent breeding temperature for the guppies. And it's, it's ideal really, it speeds up the, the way the female gives birth. A lot of people say, oh no, he putting hot water in doesn't do anything. But I've found that by heating the water up to 30 degrees, it's the perfect temperature and the females um, release the babies quicker. Because you might find that... Some guppies, they seem to be pregnant for ages, but they won't release. And there's a few reasons for that, because they may be stressed, the water temperatures may not be right, or the water conditions. Or, if there's like loads of other fish in the tank, if it's like a normal community tank, sometimes they hold off dropping. But, by having a nice little tank like this, with a lot of hiding places, such as the guppy grass, um, they're more than likely to drop within a month. Even though that's the average span of it. I'm currently using an um, internal filter. The filter is one that I got with the tank. It's from Pets at Home. To be fair, the filter itself isn't good. Um, and you have to, to replace the media, the carbon and stuff like that. You'll be paying £15 a month for that. So what I found to be cheaper option was to buy loose carbon. Activated carbon and I would just dismantle the box that's inside and I'd replace the carbon myself It's the same going for the polishing pads and um, the polishing pads uh, Come included with the 15 pound kit, but f I think it was like for four pound I bought a big bag of it and I just uh, I just pull the wool apart and fit it in Um, But yeah, my water is being cycled now for three days. It's a newly set up a tank and um, but I've had the tank for ages, but it's just been, I just left it standing for a while. But yeah, the fish that I'm breeding are these yellow guppies here. It's, I don't know if you can see. It's looking at the camera. There, these bad boys here. Um, they're one of my favourite types of guppies because they're quite simple, but nice. Um, but they're all yellow except one. I've got a red and yellow fire tail in there because... As much as I like the yellow, I also like them with red in. So hopefully I'm aiming to breed them to get some nice red stripes in the tail. If not in the tail, hopefully down the body. But to be fair, I'm happy with what I get as long as I get some pure yellows like that. Um, 
But I don't know if you can notice, I also put uh, media in my tank, in the, in the substrate. Oh, can you see? Yeah, there, there's only little bits, but I like to put the, the media in my substrate as well. I might just be an old wives tale, I'm not sure, but personally I think by putting it in there, it helps clean the water better. I, I'm probably wrong, but I've done it and I've always will. Um, but yeah, with the light, I put the light on for about roughly four hours a day. I don't have it too hard to, on too much, because um, I don't want too much algae coming in. I've currently got the tank in a dark room, so like the windows are blocked out and everything, just because I don't want any algae. Um, yeah, but up to now, the fish are doing well. They've only been here in like four days. Um, what I I cycled my water naturally. Um, I treat it with um, tonic salts, and um, oh, there we are. It's coming to show itself. Sorry if the um, camera's shitting, guys. I'm just using my um, webcam to record it. But yeah, I keep an eye on these bad lads every day because it's in my office but what I, I'll do I'll be doing weekly water changes at 50 50% 50 water changes Um, my filter I've done it so it's creating a little current at the top it's not the best but I didn't want to put any um, wave makers in and yeah some people a lot of people would say oh you need to put more, like an air stone in and get more oxygen in but what I find is, as long as you've got loads of guppy grass in, you don't really need the airstone because the guppy grass creates oxygen, oxygenates it. But, but yeah, sometimes I'm, I think, oh God, shall I put one in? But up to now, they're doing well. They've only been in, like I say, three days. But you can see, wait, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll try and get you. The female is currently got a gravid spot, just turned black. So hopefully, we'll be expecting her to drop in a month's time. I've got five fish in here, four males, one female. A lot of people say, oh, you just need to have one male, two, two, two males, one female. That's right, that's the, be that's the limit, well, the minimum if you want to breed. But what I find is by putting in four males, it pesters the woman more. Pesters the female fish guppy more. So because she's constantly being pestered by more fish, the breeding becomes more prolific and a lot faster to be fair, and there's not many dry spots. But depending on how the first set of fry come out, depend uh, that will depend whether or not I'm gonna change the female. But as it is, I'm just going to give it a go. But yeah, um I do currently sell the guppy grass if any guys if any of you guys are interested. Um I normally sell five pounds for a handful. Um, depending on where you are within the UK, um, it'll be a minimum of a pound postage. Um, but if you do receive it in the post, you might find that oh, it looks like there's not much there. But believe me, it grows like wildfire. But if you have any further questions or comments or anything that you would like to ask me, or if there's something that you could teach me, put it in the comment box below. I'm more than happy to. Um, to respond and take things into consideration when making decisions but like I say this here is just simply a 55 litre breeding tank um, nothing special basic of everything um, but if you subscribe and follow I'll keep you up to date on how these fish are doing and also me other large tank which I've got me sitting in which holds corridors, tetras, pingy pingy loaches, mall guppies with a variety of other fish um, such as um, bristle nose plex or, and I've got some of this but I can't remember but yeah thanks a lot for watching guys and like I say please subscribe and follow for more updates just to keep this channel going